What's up, y'all? Just in here, back in the pickup. And today, 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 we got a super duper special unboxing. Today, we're boxing a pair of Reeboks. Well, not just any pair of Reeboks. Today, we're gonna clean with the classics. And this particular pair of shoes is a three in one collab. As you can tell from the box, it is in partnership with the N. And you can tell right here on the wrapping right here. But today's pair of shoes, we are boxing a pair of Reebok classics. Partnership up with the end and partnership with the streets. And what I must say is I love the end because they double box their stuff. And sometimes they do this, put a little wrapping on it, or they put extra tissue paper, but it's not really necessary. But when they do do it, it does make you feel very, very satisfied. Secret of satisfaction, this box, I know you guys can't feel it, but it's very, very smooth to a premium material. So I can't wait to unbox these and show you guys what we got. All right, so as I was saying, the box does feel premium. In addition to that, once you open up, you'll see that they went above and beyond. They even put some engraving on here, which reads, it's a blessing in disguise, but it's really well disguised. So that's usually how most street brands are. Um, they tend to put little messages in there that, you know, if you know, you know. If you don't, you know, just stick around a little bit longer, you'll find out. You do get an extra pair of laces. These are black but they are metal, which is pretty cool. And now let's get to the good stuff. So what exactly does 160 get you from Reebok? Besides a whole lot of tissue paper, you're gonna get premium, premium feeling shoe. Now the new buck on these bad boys do feel nice and smooth. There's that texture upper calf, but the star of this is of course the Streets branding, which they put right here. And I think that that's a nice subtle touch. I love when they do gold, but it's not, they don't overdo it. Um, but yeah, so you do have the streaks at the bottom. So let's go ahead and get a close up on these. So as I was telling you guys, at the bottom of the shoe, you want to have the streaks right here. And the thing I like about this is that the rubber outer sole is not super duper translucent. It already has like that gum bottom look to it, but it's not just a plain gum bottom. Like, as you're walking, people are gonna possibly see, but if they don't, you know, it's one of those things that if you know, you know, and that's what I like about this shoe. This is a low key shoe. This shoe right here has the premium embroidery on it with the branding of the streets right here. And then you're gonna have Reebok Classic right here, as well as the streets. Now on the inside, you're just gonna have plain sole, nothing too crazy, just, you know, but it is what it is. You have Reebok branding right here. You have the Reebok logo, the streets, of course. And then you have the Reebok logo and then the streets and Reebok. If you guys can see that, it says Reebok. Um, gold tips on the laces again. And I want to make it clear, these are not reflective. This is just black and white. So don't let anybody get confused. Now, one pair says the streets. The other pair says in. And overall, man, this is a great shoe. Um, it's a classic. It's lightweight. It's not exactly a hype beast dream, but at the same time, I guess it just depends on the location. The new buck is premium, and I was on Stock X, and it could be just because these just came out, but if you try to get another size 10 for these, you're looking at right around $300. So these definitely doubled as far as in value. Um, who knows in the future we'll see if they maintain that price but like i said you open it up this is what you get the street shoe it's a blessing in disguise but it's really well disguised and what do you get on this one same thing so pretty cool shoe um definitely a low-key sleeper um if you're into uh, that subtle look subtle all black with hints of gold i recommend this shoe so as far as i put these on uh, I want my true size. You could slip these on with no hands, but you probably never have an adjustment right here at the time. So, just to save yourself time, go ahead and put these on with two hands. But as far as being able to slip them off, you can slip these bad boys off with no hands. 